Hello, here we are with another Authors Republic tutorial for you. This tutorial is going to deal with noise reduction, or what happens when you have interlaced noise in your tracks. So first thing you want to do is fire up Audacity, which is a free program. And with Audacity running, you just want to take your track that has issues in it, and just drag it onto your timeline. Now, a big thing that happens with people looking at their work here is they see a big flat line with nothing in between, and they think, hey, this looks great. Problem is, Audacity defaults to waveform and not waveform dB. So, waveform is just showing you the frequency of the pitch, whereas waveform dB is showing you the overall volume of your waveform. So, if you look here, when we change it over, and you'll immediately see when the waveform changes over that there's a bunch of noise in between the narration. And this is interlaced noise. And as you see when it pops up above the menu here that it's above negative 60. Now this menu reader here only goes to negative 54, but if it shows up here at all, then that means it's above negative 60. So you might be wondering, how do you get rid of this noise? Well, that's what we're here for today. What you wanna do, you wanna take a selection that's isolated from any piece of your voice or from any kind of music that might be included in your tracks. So when you have a listen to it, just the selection, and you hear none of your voice or any music, then that's good. That's exactly what you want. So what you need to do after you have that clip selected is go up to Effect, go into Noise Reduction, and you want to use something called Get Noise Profile. So when you click this button, this window will disappear. And don't worry, all that means is it just grabbed your selection and it's prepped it. So get noise profile and okay. So now that it knows what it's looking for, you wanna select the entirety of your track and you can just do that by clicking over here and you'll see how everything just becomes selected. And then go back to effect and then back to noise reduction. And these settings here, these are the settings that we generally use. What these are is how sensitive it is to the noise it's reducing. So when it detects the noise, it knows how much to smooth things out when it's reducing. So then you go, okay, give it a moment to run through. And there we are. Now, when you listen to this section, you'll notice that there's zero noise between the narration. You can ignore the rest of this here we actually had to boost this test track quite a bit, so this actually wouldn't meet spec either. But since this is just a demonstration, this is okay. So the noise portion of your track has now been eliminated and your track can now pass the noise specification. This track now contains zero interlaced noise above negative 60 dB. What you wanna do now is make sure you select your entire track, go to File, Export, and Export as MP3. Authors Republic only deals with MP3s right now, so you just want to save it as an MP3. Most retailers only work in MP3, so that's why we use that specification. Some do wave, but they're very few and far between. So we've already been in this folder, and we've created another folder already. So we're going to start back in our problem tracks. So there's the track that we started out with. Now, when we were in here earlier, we added a new folder called Fix Tracks. Normally, we will create different folders for different aspects of the edit, so we have a better idea of what it is we're looking at, and not knowing which track you worked on, which ones got fixed, which ones are the broken ones. Just make a new folder, and it helps you keep track. And another way to make this easier on yourself is just rename the track, add a little dash, and add fixed at the end. That's another way to look at this track and see, oh, I fixed this already. So you wanna go down to your format options, make sure that you're in constant bitrate mode. And what that means, it'll save it as 192 constant bitrate instead of trying to fluctuate the bitrate lower to try and save space. So constant takes a bit more space, but it's a non-fluctuating bitrate. And what that does is that maintains that bit rate so that there's not a quality drop in certain areas of your file. So we always recommend a constant 192, as that's what all retailers currently require. For channel mode, just leave it in stereo. You'll be fine there. And hit save. 
All right, so let's go back to our folder here and take another look. So we're back at our problem tracks. Let's go into fix tracks. And there it is. There's your fixed track. And just to give you a bit of an idea, let's go back into problem tracks. We'll pull that back into our timeline. And we'll solo at this so we don't hear just noise. Waveform DB again. And when you zoom in by holding control and scrolling up and down with your scroll wheel on your mouse, you can clearly see your before and your after. And there you go, you're all set. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And we have more Authors Republic tutorials for you if you need more help. Thanks!